Hi, this is Chuck from Nerd3D. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save your settings when you upgrade Poser. First of all, it's really important to have your settings backed up. But where exactly are these settings? They live in a special folder. Open your file explorer and type in percent app data percent backslash Poser. This folder, 12, is the folder that contains all of your settings for Poser. This folder should be included in your regular backup routine. You should always back up your settings as well as your runtimes. Now let's see where the runtimes live. I'm going to open Poser because it can lead us to the places where the runtimes are actually stored. To see where your runtimes live inside Poser, on the library, right-click the Poser 12 content folder. Show in Explorer. This will take you to the actual folders where your content is stored. Go up a couple of levels until you find the Poser 12 content. This folder should also be included in your regular backup routine. Now let's install an update for Poser and see how we can preserve our settings. When you launch the installer, one of the first things you're going to see is that Poser is already installed and the installer wants to remove the existing version before it installs the update. This is okay because it's not going to delete any of the files that you have created or any of the content that you've downloaded. It only uninstalls the actual application. So this is perfectly safe to do and it will not delete anything you've created. Once the existing version of Poser has been uninstalled, we can proceed with the upgrade. Accept the license agreement, and there's two places that you need to be sure you do the same thing that you did last time you installed Poser. When you come to the content location, it's important that you use the same location for the content as your previously installed version of Poser. When I originally installed Poser, I chose a different location and I'm going to pick that from the list now. The default location is okay to use if that's the default location you used last time. Just be sure to use the same one. The next thing we need to make sure we do the same is to use the existing preferences. Make sure that the dot is on this and you will be able to keep the preferences from your previous installation of Poser. Once the installation completes, you'll be able to continue using Poser just like you did before, with all of your preferences and runtimes still in place. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser!